Hey guys, and welcome to What's Up Jude. Hello guys. Hi guys. And welcome back to this new episode of What's Up Dude. So we're super happy to be back. I think I say that to every episode, but yeah, we're super happy to be back. But that's the truth. And um, you're probably wondering, or not, what is this title like? Relationship with English. I don't even know if this is going to be the final title, but anyway. So let me explain. Why did we choose? Chose. Choose. To, to talk about that. So back in March. Yeah. Back in March, we were talking like the usual. And um, Leslie was like, oh, yeah. I didn't make a grammar mistakes on this podcast. And I was like, yeah, me too. And uh, was it me or you? And we were like, we don't know how to speak English. I, I think that was you. So yeah. I was saying that. And then Leslie was like, yeah. We need I was to like, make... whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and she was like, so I think we should make an episode on how we did learn how to speak English. That could be interesting because yeah. we're French, if you don't know, if you did not um hear our accent (laughs) (laughs) and she's like yeah that would be interesting so also why did we choose to uh, make our podcast in english and not in french that could be a question that you guys are wondering or not again i hope you are wondering (laughs) so that's that is what the episode is going to be about today but before if you did like the other episode or this one please subscribe and share it to your friends and also, we have an IG, so check it out, please. Yes. It's What's Up Dude Pod. We have many cool photos on that. So yeah. let's go. <laughs> okay, so Alex, when and how did you start listening or being interested in English, by English? So English for me has been a big part of my life. So I think the majority of us, like not native people, did like were introduced um to english by music so that's how i did first um learn english because i was singing and i was like i don't even understand what i'm singing yeah okay (laughs) i thought you were you were saying something leslie so i was like so yeah i need to look up the lyric the lyrics so i went on youtube the usual and that's how i started to um, you know, see words in English, trying to to do the pronunciation because I don't know if you, when you're not native, you hear and listen English a different ways way, and that's so weird. I can't like, of, of course, I'm not going to do that right now, but I think you guys understand what I'm what I'm saying. And also, my mom and my parents uh, did int- oh wow did introduce me uh, to English by CDs and I don't know how to say that, but you know, kids' songs. Mm-hmm. So we had a DVD with, um, yeah, I don't know how to say that in English, <laughs> with like uh, kids' songs, and we were sing, we were singing, and I say oh. we because I have my brother, of course, and that's what that's how everything started, and then later again, my mom was like, I think English is a really important thing to know, especially in this world who is moving, you need to communicate with new people. So when I was, I think 11 or 10, when she bought me a vacation uh, book in English, and it was really fun because I did learn everything like the, like the verbs, the month, And at the end of each unit, we had a song summarizing the whole lesson. And still, until this day, sorry, I do remember all the songs. So that's cool. And this book, I still have it because I pass it to my brother. And also, when I did taught a little kid English, I took this book to, you know, to make him appreciate, make make him... Yeah, make him appreciate the the language. So that's how I pick it up English. What about you? Um, first, I just want to say that I I like your story because you 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 started by saying that 
you learn English through music and yeah. then when well you discovered music through English and then you learn really learn English through music and I just think that that was cool anyway uh, Let's my hear story, about your story is less cool sorry but um I was like seven or eight when I began to listen to English uh, it was just like you Uh, thanks to music mostly but uh, I was not like you at all because I didn't do any research to find what I was singing so it was not English at all uh, and I was doing karaoke so I knew the word but didn't knew the meaning in French right yeah so my first step was like singing without even thinking what I was think was what I was singing sorry and then i was like maybe do karaoke and so i make some research i made sorry some research and but i didn't know the meaning in french so i was just thinking and have the accent um, yeah, like you heard english yeah How exactly you in it yeah but uh i remember uh doing um Rihanna ka karaoke. Wow. It was a uh, the level. <laughs> it was like uh, found found love. Found love, yeah. We found, we, we found love, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> Beautiful song. Yeah. Um. So it was with my father's computer. Um. And also, I've grown up uh, with a mother who loves um this American culture, music languages, um. So when I turned 10, uh, my mother decided to make a three week road trip on the west coast of the United States. That's so cool. Yeah, th this is the cool part. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> uh, she is so because she was waiting for too many years because she wanted to be sure that I could remember this trip, you know, mm. so she was she right. Made, yeah, sure. It, first, it's, it's expensive, you know, you can't bring your child and say Not oh <laughs> you can't remember anything that's yes, cool <laughs> i did pay 150 euros but that's cool 100 <laughs> sorry 1000 and um so thank you to my mom for that and yeah. so i went to the usa a 10 crazy thing even if, even if i knew only the basics like hello thanks bye and last but not least sorry i'm french i don't speak english yeah <laughs> so since this trip i have had the chance to travel to the uk three times and to many european countries and i just want to say that you know this sentence sorry i'm french i don't speak english uh that was so useful when i was 10 because you know people i remember a lady Yeah, the, I the like toilet. this story. <laughs> yeah, in the toilet. I was 10, I was alone because it was at the toilet. So, and I remember she asked asked me if it was free, you know, if she can go to the toilet. And I didn't understand, but well, you know, she it was easy to understand even if mm. you don't speak English. Yeah. Um, but I, I just panicked. And uh, I was like, I'm sorry, I don't speak English, bye. And I <laughs> ran away. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so, thanks to this many trips, um, I was able to understand English, even if I used to struggle a lot for the speaking part, of course. Of course. But uh, school has helped me for this, even if it's, you know, if you try you you know i know some people who say oh school languages you know it can be complicated but you have to you know raise your hand and participate and it can just you know um it can help you yeah uh, but i think oh. also school like especially english classes are more fun than the other classes because they try to include you they try to make you speak and don't be afraid of what you are saying 
even if sometimes like you have native speakers in your class and mm. it can be really intimidated but still um i will be always thankful to yeah. my english classes because they like they really inspire me and told me that making mistakes wasn't the thing that i needed to remember but mm. the progress that i was making in that class yeah and i do think like uh english teachers if they're well, fun if, yeah they're fun because they they are in this you know american mindset or english mindset, mindset whatever yeah. and they are not here to uh teach you like a in a strict basic, way basic like yeah. grammar things yeah. like that of course you have you have to but it's more like a, okay so let's learn that today and yeah i don't know and i think it's cool and i had um um teacher in middle school that was amazing you know she was too. always always smiling and Same. she was crazy of adele by the way and so Adele, just, like the okay, yeah, yeah the, okay the singer yeah. and uh it was so cool just my my middle school teacher uh she's still uh in the middle school that i was in because my brother had had her and she's so cool honestly i love her so much so yeah i i won't say her name but yeah yeah uh so alex what's uh your relationship with this language like English and me have a really deep relationship, you know. So, in my everyday life, I do I do use English every time, every time. Not gonna lie, I do live in France, but uh, my environment is basically based on English, basically based. Yeah. So, what do I have to say about that? Like the content that I'm watching on YouTube is mainly american english speaker people the music that i'm listening is in english the news that i'm watching when i'm doing a research i tend to search like the word in english rather than in french and i'm sorry for the echo again <laughs> do, I, do you have an echo no. okay it's okay so yeah everything that i do is in english i do speak to my french my <laughs> I do speak to my friends in English, for example, Leslie and I do speak in English sometimes. I have other friends and I have this friend. The fact that I, when I'm speaking French with her is so weird because we yeah. we are used to speak in English. Mm. So yeah, so that that is my relationship with English. Was it our guest? Like Yeah, yeah, it was. She was, Lisa, she was yeah. our guest. Yeah, if you haven't listened to the episode. Go check it out anyway um <laughs> so what about your relationship like do you are you surrounded by english every time or do you try to make the most of it like you know um i love english as as much as much sorry as i love french and i'm grateful first to speak english nowadays because i can you know watch read hear many content without uh, this fear of not understanding yeah you can learn you can learn so much more uh because english you know is the worldwide uh, language uh so you can find even more content uh if you speak english and if people like us are french and want to do content in english it's also good because they can understand you know and it's more, it's not just an American and English content. It's really a worldwide content. Um, you can also make friends thanks to English, you know, meet, meet people, have fun and understand the entire jokes, like the Pri private jokes, not for, n not, <laughs> I was saying, uh, I was saying, um, French word, but not, um, obviously, a, a private jokes, but like an implied joke. I I don't know. Like, what it is. it's like um, when you when you, did, you, uh, you say a joke, yeah. and then uh, the joke is not like blind. Okay, okay. It's I don't have to say that. In blind English, at I'm you. Sorry. How, yeah, yeah, too. yeah. Like you want to say a joke, but 
in order to understand this joke, you have to be to have the context, the, or, the context, or um, yeah. the historical. Um... Ooh, that was a weird sound. Yeah. But yeah, sorry. So yeah, you, I did understand you, what you. So mean. yeah, to understand the joke, you have to, uh, for example, have the historical knowledge, or yeah, you know, know the names or How whatever. Do you say that in French, I don't even know. But I, that it's, that is not the point. It's um, sous-entendu. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know how to say that in English. We will search that. Sorry, guys. Getting back um, to your relationship with English. And I think that's pretty much it, you know. I just... Um, I love French, you know, as I was saying. So I, I can't be only in an English environment. Mm. I have to find this balance. balance. Yeah. Um, but, um, also I just want to ask, uh, Alex, have you yeah. ever dreamed in English? Before answering that question, I have another one, yeah. like not, not a question, but I think in France, people who tend, people who want to get better at English sometimes mm -hmm. they get like, you know, um, I don't know how to say that peaked out. Like people are like, oh, what do you want? Why do you want to learn English so bad? Why? Mm. I don't know if you had this experience, but sometimes when you try, because um, I had this mindset, for example, for my accent, fake it till you make it. Mm. So sometimes I was like, people were like, were like, hey, why are you trying to have an American accent or an English accent? Because yeah. that is not, yeah, you like, you're doing too much. And First, you do what you want. <laughs> First of all, yeah, I do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. Second of all, I don't even have an American or an English accent. Yes. My accent is like... Your accent is unique. <laughs> sometimes, I, I don't know if you guys did um, hear that, but Leslie and I, sometimes we have words and I can't say this word in an American accent, but I have to say it in an English accent. Yeah. Or sometimes the pronunciation like will change so yeah that's <laughs> so that's you know mm. weird but that's how our brain is and before uh talking about uh dreams i just wanted to say that uh, when we were younger we tend to fake our accent uh just to blind okay i can't um I, just for people to not make fun of us yes exactly and I think during the past uh, few years, you know, because work is so an international thing, we tend to be more aware that speaking English is a basic, you know. And important. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just want to say something. I think you're right. People right now, when you... You're gonna say to a French people, oh yeah, do speak English, I can understand, like, mm. you know, I can communicate. They, they will be like, yeah, that's good for you. Mm. But back in the days, it wasn't like that. Yeah. So to answer your question, because, uh, yeah. About maybe. dreams. So um, as far as I remember, I have a bad memory, first of all. <laughs> I don't remember dreaming in English. Maybe I had, but... Like I, right now I don't remember. Do do you? Do you have? Yeah, I did, like a few times, but because my brain is kind of old, I can't remember uh, the dream, you know, specifically. But I remember <laughs> that I I dreamt, 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 dreamt. Yeah, I dreamt, uh, and it was like normal, you know. I was speaking English, like normal, like it was my First language. First language. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and telepathy. I, <laughs> and I woke up and I was like, "Did I did I speak in English last night? Yeah, yeah, I did." And that was weird, but yeah. Sometimes I know that people in my dream did speak in English, but I mm. was not. <laughs> I was not like I was like your yeah. brain was like ooh. I understand what you're saying, but um, not speaking back. So yeah, but how? Like another another question is, how do we manage to practice English in yeah. France or in our environment? Because 
we don't have a lot of native speakers around us like i don't know for you um except like on social media mm. but in our real life like our day-to-day -day life we don't have yeah we don't have native speakers so how do we practice english what is like do you want to begin okay so i'm the one <laughs> i want to ask the question okay i'm going to yeah so first of all listening listening has been my greatest friend because that's how i pick up how to pronounce the words and how like expressions that's mm. how i pick it up by listening so watching series listening to music which i do do all the time and listening to podcasts i think it's been a year since i've i've started to listen to podcasts and this has helped me this has <laughs> helped me a lot so yeah listening is a big part of it and also i had the chance to travel in the uk twice might not be a lot for some people but it is a lot for me yeah it is So first, the first one was in middle school because I was in a um, European section class. And the second time was in high school, also because I was in European section class. That was in... Ooh. <laughs> was it in junior? Junior? Uh, when we were junior in high school? No, I don't think so. That was the second year. So junior. In Sophomore? sophomore anyway you know we were seven sixteen another 17. thing the, another thing that here in france we don't like we don't have like the same timeline is when you guys say seventh grade twelfth grade or oh yeah or, like yeah don't get it for me <laughs> don't get it so anyway that we were we were seven sixteen i think Yeah, yeah, so that was the second time. And also, just like you, Leslie, I had the chance to travel in Europe. Not a lot, but I did. And um, so I could practice, especially when I was in the Netherlands. Yeah, in the Netherlands. I love this country so much. Me too. Please take me back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I had the chance to practice here. And also I have, I made friends on the social media so I could practice my writing. Um, I think that's it. I think, let, let me think. I think you forgot something really important. And it's, you know, college, for example, just saying that. College? Oh, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> college. <laughs> for example, you work English every day at college. I don't, I don't hear English every day at college. Well, when I was going to college in real oh, life. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> A long time ago yeah a long a year <laughs> it's been a year anyway yeah. so i don't think i thought because you know guys if you listen to the first episode like our introduction we do we do study languages that's our major and we have english in it but i don't like that's weird because i i feel like i don't speak english that much which is mm -hmm. really sad which and i really, really because sad. i i do think it's because of the pandemic because um it's the same for me with uh spanish yeah because, ooh, it's been a long time Leslie is I... also studying spanish so that's cool yeah uh but i do think pandemic is the worst thing when you study languages because yeah. first uh you can't have social interact interaction interaction you... yeah. yeah yeah um and it's really hard because languages you know speaking is a huge part Uh, in languages so to understand to make yeah. mistakes and understand your mistakes so yeah. yeah so i don't think college has helped me <laughs> college has <laughs> helped me <laughs> you for, paid for it <laughs> yeah but college has helped me for um maybe the grammatical thing yeah, the, yeah. or not i don't know because my grades were not that great anyway but also when i was in middle school i went to what we call european section mm. european section if you don't know if you're not from uh france it is basically a extra english hours that you do and you you learn about the english culture whether that be um american culture history english history or australian yeah, political also yeah also 
<laughs> she did a mix of the French, French. world and the English one. So, yeah, we did learn a lot about New Zealand, Australia, and like the other English speaking country, which yeah, was and really I, cool. Yeah. And when we were in European section in high school, I remember that was um, the time uh, of um, tr Trump election. Yeah. So it was really interesting to understand how a political system was in the United States, in the United States. Ooh. Which took a lot of time for us to understand. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Many study hours, hours of studying. Yeah. And nowadays we probably know better on the political system in the United States than in, than France. in France. <laughs> yeah. So welcome to the life of a language uh, student. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun in high school. Also when I was in, when we were in middle school, that was yeah. when Scotland had like the referendum. I don't think if you, yeah. did you, did you talk about that in your class? Uh, we were more like, uh, talking about things like, uh, uh, like cultural way, for example, mm. Thanksgiving, something really okay. basic. And we were, um, studying uh like the typical day-to-day -day life okay. of people but i i can't remember if we studied that i did because my professor like my my third year in middle school professor was super like you know he wanted us to understand what was going yeah. on at the time but uh, just like you we had like the thanksgiving thing and I don't know how to say that in English, but we had like a big, you know, the, the old TVs and you have to put a. Yeah. Yeah. In, yeah. In, in French, it's, it's a cassette. In, in cassette. Yeah. Uh, like we had that. What's the word um, in English? She's searching it up on a the tape, internet. A, a tape. Yeah. A tape. So we had like those big TVs, like the old one. And you had to, the, like the teacher had to put a tape for us to see like what is, what she wanted us to see. And that was so much fun. And when I remember I was like, oh, wow, that was a yeah. long time ago. Tapes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that was super long. I feel like I'm the only one talking right now. So let's see. Um... Okay. So. Um... How do we manage to predict, to predict, to pr oh my God. <laughs> it's okay. Just let me say, it's so frustrating when you have a sentence in your head and you want to say it, but your tongue is your tongue. Yeah. Yeah. Your tongue is like, mm -mm, nope. Happened to me every time. Anyway, <laughs> so. How do we manage to practice English? Uh, well, as you, I was in European section since I was uh, 13, 14. Bad memory and, be like, sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and so I also, I've also been to United Kingdom uh, twice, uh, but the second time was a little bit different because first I was older and second, uh, I was in a host family as yeah. you did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So much fun. Uh, yeah. That was so cool because it was the first time I went abroad without my family and in a host family. Oh, really? Yeah. And, and that oh. was that was really cool. And um, so I did this extra hours too. Uh and that was really cool because we were not with our usual classmates, but with people yeah. who, who choose that too. And so there were this English vibes, kind of English vibes. Yeah, and everybody, we... everybody could uh, give advice to each other. Because we had native speakers in our high school. Yeah. So that was really fun. Yeah. And about practicing English, I listened to a lot of podcasts. Uh, watch a lot of series, Netflix. <laughs> if you still don't know, <laughs> I think I'm saying that to you in every episode, but yeah, Leslie but, uh... is a big fan of Netflix series. And yeah, she did watch all the series on it. So yeah. <laughs> all, I don't know, but. <laughs> you did, you did. 
and also uh, YouTube videos. Sometimes I read a uh, read sorry in English and well speaking well we created a podcast. Yeah. And so yeah, most of the time I speak English in my head. I sing in English. I used to travel before uh, COVID. I <laughs> used to travel. That was so sad. Like yeah, you said it's, it's sad too. And... Yeah, but it's kind of privilege, you know. Yeah. It's, I'm lucky to say I used to travel. Yes, yeah, that's true. Um uh so I do think uh you can always improve if you are in this English environment, you know, if you try to create create your English brain and uh think like a yeah, a native speaker. And I'm not going to lie to to you, it's it's kinda hard because it's been like ten years now and in my opinion I think I'm not speaking like someone who learned English for 10 years mm. but anyway uh, I have some, I have something to say about that but uh yes finish yes, before do it. Do no, no 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 I think it. okay okay so <laughs> I think in France we we have like a we tend I don't know to say that let me think guys our mind is kind of blocked by our environment because yeah. we are we are scared to make mistakes and I don't think I don't think the American or English uh, mentality is like that because um, based on what we studied on how the classes happened and things like that and how the the professors are they encourage you to to speak but in France even if they encourage you to speak you always have this pressure and you always tend to think in the back of your mind oh what if I make mistakes or what if my classmates are gonna you know make, make fun of me so I think that's why even if in ten, even in 10 years of learning mm -hmm. English we don't have this fluency and we don't have this um you know I don't know to say that but this you know this yeah, thing yeah, you... to to speak and just like just speak you know yeah Sorry. and i've studied in um in college uh it was about it was about intercultural communication and they did um several not surveys but yeah, yeah surveys i think this. yeah but um most of the time French people didn't and do not speak English because they're afraid yeah. of their accent. And that is the main point, you know, because when you're uh, learning languages, you have to practice because you can learn many things and it's like everything you can learn. But if you don't practice, you you did the halfway sorry for that noise but yeah yeah so don't be scared of your accent if you're not a native speaker because here we are sorry for my cat so because here we are doing a podcast and we do have an accent we are aware of it yeah but that's okay because the thing is people just need to understand what you want to say and i think like people who judge yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> and I, I think people who judge um, people's accents, it's just reflecting that they are scared and ashamed of their their own accent. And also, if you yeah. have an accent, that means that you can speak another language, which is yeah, super super yeah. cool. But I do think like people who judged other, they're just judging themselves. Mm. And so when they ah, listen to their accent, it's just because you are not comfortable with yours. So, yeah, that was it. But uh, yeah, and I think you don't have to change your whole life overnight to be fluent in five days. Of course, you know? of course. Uh, you do videos who like, uh, I practice, no, it was like, um, I learned 
for example, English or whatever language. In one day. Yeah, in one day, in one week. No, it's not possible. Your brain can't. Like, it's... You, there's so much material that you have yeah. to absorb. Yeah, so, so... Take your time by... But keep practi practicing every day if you can, even if it's just like five minutes. And if you can change one thing in your uh, routine, it can be, for example, your meditation instead of listening in French your languages. Or native language, yeah. yeah. Uh, you can listen in the language that you want to learn, or I don't know, just re read uh, an article per day on or in this language. Maybe I know that you do that. Uh, turn your phone in the language that you want to yeah. um, l learn. Yeah, Except be sure if... you you be sure you have an, anything you know really important for you in your phone because sometimes when you don't understand and you know it's going to your tra trash trash yeah in your like, late uh... folders and uh, please don't do that if you're if you're learning Chinese. Um, I am learning Chinese, but I never like. I'm not gonna put my phone in Chinese because that is a completely yeah, different I, language, you know. I I do think that you have you need some basics in the language. So English too. is, and it's because I'm French, and you know English, Spanish, Italian. It's all about Latin. Latin, Latin yeah. They things. all have Latin roots. Yeah. So. You can understand easier, but I can't turn my phone in easily. Sorry, in 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 Greek, in Greek, yeah, Greek. I can't what? because no, 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 no. It's, yeah, because it's it's, it's, it's not Greek. the same um, alphabet. alphabet. Yeah, we don't even have an alphabet in Chinese anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> we might make an, another podcast on the other languages that we are currently learning. Yeah, and I think it will be more like learning languages because English here, it was more like just why do we do an English podcast? Yeah, reflecting our on yeah. our journey with English. Yeah. But like with Spanish and Chinese, it's a completely new new yes. path that we're taking here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that I think this is the end of the episode, unfortunately. But yeah. yeah. Sorry for all, you know, the, the hesitation that we had, but you know, that, that is a chill episode, so never mind. Mm. And we don't want to, you know, say something stupid. So you have to think We're taking before... the time. Yeah. You have to think before saying something. So, yeah. So thank you for listening. Um, if you did enjoy this podcast, subscribes, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe and um, also share because I think sharing is an important way yeah and thank of... you first of all for listening also uh, because it's the end you know I know some people who never ever listen the entire podcast most people listen to the end of our podcast yeah but I not just know. for our podcast but podcast in general, in general. yeah so yeah, so thank you for listening. Uh, again, we have an IG, so if you want to follow, feel free to do it. Don't be afraid to send us messages because we are going to answer, and we're we're kind, we're kind. So <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, bye bye guys. Bye and have a good day, good night, whatever. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>